Hi! In this video, you're going to learn about the UI node, how it works, and more importantly, how to use it. Let's get started. The UI node is the core UI navigation node in Node, and of course in the ZUI. It helps you navigate from one view to another via a button click, a game event, or even uh, after a set uh, time delay. Right now I have uh, three views in uh, this scene and each view has two buttons. So view one has a button two and a button three. View two has a button one and a button three. And view three has a button one and a button two. If I press play, this scene will work because I already have a graph that is managed by a graph controller and that allows me to go from one to another. So let's go to one, let's go to two, let's go to three. There you go. How does this work? Well, there is a, uh, where is it? A graph controller that controls this graph. And you can see right now I'm in... Uh, a UI view named three, and I can go from one to another. All right, so this is a UI node. Let's create a uh, new graph, and I'll create it from scratch so you can see how to use a UI node. Let's close this, and uh, let's also remove this graph from uh, the graph controller. And let's create a new graph. So tools, doozy, nodi. Let's create a new graph and let's call it my graph. And right away, I have a start node. This is an empty graph. And this is red because it is not connected to anything. You also have a message here. Let's uh, set this as our uh, graph for our controller. And let's create our first UI node. How can you create a UI node? Well, there, there are two ways. How to use the context menu, right click, create node, UI node. This is one way of doing it. I'm gonna delete it. Or you just press the letter N because uh, this is a very important node and it is the most used node. We added a shortcut, the letter N. So I just pressed it and it got automatically connected to the start node. If I press play, nothing will happen because this UI node does nothing right now. It will get activated, but no view is visible on screen. How can I see a view? Well, I want to see the view number one. And when we enter this node, I want to see this view. So I'm going to select numbers one. And when I exit this node, I want to hide this view again, the same one. Now, if I press play, you will see that view number one will be visible. There you go. And now I'm going to continue this uh, video doing live editing right here. So you can create your uh, graph in play mode and it will get saved. So what do I know here? Well, I have two buttons, button two and button three. And I want to go to a new UI view, the, to, the, to the UI view number two and number three. So I need two UI nodes. Let's call this one, or let's say menu one. Let's create one more. This will be menu two. And one more. This will be menu three. Okay, so let's say I want in menu two, I want to see the view number two and also hide it when I leave this node. Remember, this is very important. And in menu three, again, I wanna see the view number three and when I, when I leave it, I wanna hide it. How do we connect them? Well. In view number one, I have two buttons, number two and number three. So I'm gonna look here and I'm gonna say, add one more. And I say on button click, what button? Well, 
bottom two. And uh, here, where is it? Oh, I was working here. Yeah, okay. So on menu one, I'll say numbers. When I click button two, I want to connect it here. I want to go here. And when I click the button number three, I want to go here. That's it. So if I click two, it goes here. Why did it show the view? Well, because we added this show UI view number two. And I cannot go back right now because it is not set. And here it, it would have shown number three. Let's activate this node. And let's go here, number three. Again, notice how it changed. Okay, let's uh, continue. Right now I'm in this menu, but this button do nothing. Well, because they're not connected. So let's add one more button. And let's say numbers one. And I'm connected here, go to menu one. And here go to menu two. Let's uh, untangle this, move up and move up. Actually, no. Yeah, this is better. Yeah. And uh, now I can go back to one and go back to three. Notice how uh, the active now changed. And now let's go back to two. Of course, these don't work because we have nothing set up here. Let's add one more. And let's say numbers and yeah, one and three. And let's connect them. So if I press this button, it will go here. If I press this button, it will go here. And now we have a fully connected node graph. What about the other options? Well, let's add one more. And here you can say button double click, button long click, game event or time delay. I'm not gonna show the, the other buttons but because it's just the same. It will just react to a double click or a long click on the particular button name. I'm gonna show you the time delay. So let's say after three seconds, after we've entered this node, go to number two. So let's go to two and then to one and you'll see a timer. And after three seconds, it will go here. And now let's add another timer here. After three, after three more seconds, go here. And let's add another timer here so we can create an infinite loop. And let's go here. And right now we have an automated UI. So let's see. Number two, number three. Yeah, and this will go forever like this. Okay, so uh, this is the UI node. You can also show, let's uh, remove uh, these settings. All right. You can also show several views at once. So um, let me change view number one a bit. Let's say, uh, and let me change number two a bit. So it's the number two and number one. And what can I do is the following. I can show two views with one node. So let's say I want to also see number two and hide it. And Let's set it like this. So number one, set position. Let's move it like this. And number two, set position. And let's move it like this, for example. All right. So when we enter play mode right now, Number one and number two will be shown because this 
node shows both of them. So let's just play. Check it out. You see them both. Let's go to three. Let's go to two. And let's go to one. There you go. That's how it works. It's uh, quite easy. You can also go, uh, let's go maximize. I'm going to get this out of the way. So three. Just so you see that the um, animations are smooth. Let's uh, reset these two. So reset. And now they will work as expected. And let's uh, fix the node. So let's remove this. And let's uh, set maximize or play. So that's it for the UI node. It allows you to create your navigation. Let me get this out of the way. So three, two, yeah. That's it. And you can also see it uh, work here live. So we are in menu two. Let's go to one. Note how if I press number two, it will use this uh, particular connection. It will highlight it. Three, you'll see this one. Yeah, two, you'll see this one. And uh, that's it. You can also add a back button, and I'm going to do just that right now. So if I go to number two, I can add a back button. Let me exit, maximize. So let's say this is a back button. So I can go back here and let's add another back button here. So we can go back to two. And yeah, we can also add a menu one. Actually, no, that's it. Let's uh, maximize. And let's go to three. So if I press the back button, it will use this connection and go back here. And if I press the back button again, it will use this connection and go back here. The back button is the escape key, by the way. So I'm going to press escape. This connection will light up. And again, escape. This connection will light up. If instead of pressing escape, I press two, this connection will light up. There you go. And again, one, this connection. So two, and let's press back. Two, and let's press the number one. And that's it for the UI node. It's uh, easy to use, and it's uh, probably the most important node in uh, your UI navigation workflow. Thank you very much.